Someone asked me last night, uh, he heard a, a lecture by a rabbi, and the, this rabbi proposed that uh, we should no longer recite the bracha of Shalom Asani Oved, because the, the concept no longer exists by Klav Yisrael. I told him, well, what about Shalosani Isha? But uh, it, it set me to thinking a little about the place of uh, slavery in Jewish life. In this week's Parsha Mishpatim, we have uh, quite a number of halachas having to do with Eved Ivri and Eved Knani. Omo Ivriya, Shivra Knanis. The Gemara in Kedushin uh, expands on these halachas. We learn many of the dinim of Kinyonim, of how to acquire things from uh, the uh, laws regarding Evid. So, what, the, what is, uh, how, do, how do we view this? <clears throat> I mean, we feel, and justifiably so, that uh, owning another human being, so to speak, is morally wrong. Uh, at least in Western society today, that, that is the prevalent idea. It took them a few thousand years to come to that idea. But that idea is present. And already in the 19th century, England abolished slavery and the slave trade. The United States fought a civil war to abolish slavery. So in the mindset of uh, the Western world, we are, so to speak, past slavery. Now, uh, in our century, there were tens of millions of people who were slaves in the gulag. And there are today in the world uh, hundreds of thousands of people who are actual slaves, especially in the Muslim countries and in Asia. Uh, it's a real thing. But what's our attitude? How do we look at it? So I, I remember uh, Long ago, when I was in the yeshiva, our rabbeim discussed the matter with us. Not, the, not only the halachic matter of uh, kinyonim and uh, evet, etc., but the uh, moral matter as well. And you see from the Talmud that uh, Chazal uh, had a very dim view of it. In fact, Chazal pointed out that uh, Ram Gamliel was an exception because he had one Eved that was kosher, Tevi Avdo. So he sat Shiva for Tevi when he died. But otherwise, the Gemara says, Avdo Be'efkeira Nechalei, Zilalei, Pritzalei. And Eved is, uh, has no, uh, you know, Creating the situation of Avdus destroys the moral fabric of both the owner and the slave. And therefore, uh, we have such a concept, that, for instance, uh, in the Torah, we'll have it in the Parsh of Kisaitse, of Lodibra Torah, uh, Lokaneged <clears throat> Yetzirah. The Torah sometimes speaks in reality, even though it's morally unacceptable. But that's the reality. So, for instance, you fasto are men in war and they capture women, it's likely that something's going to happen. So the Torah is not in favor of its happening. In fact, the Torah, and in, in, in the Torah Shabbal Peh especially, warns against such a thing happening and says it will turn out to be a disaster for all concerned. But nevertheless, the reality of life is that these things happen. 
So the Torah has to address it. So the reality of human history is that for thousands of years, and many thousands of years, and even till today, a slavery exists. And therefore, if Jews lived in a society where slavery existed, for instance, the Jews in the uh, south of the United States before the Civil War. So uh, we have tshuvas that were written by the early Rabbonim in the United States who mainly were Svardim. Uh, whether or not those slaves had a din of an Evet Knami. The Jew owned slaves, he owned blacks. What din did they have? They had a din of Evet Knani. Did he have to circumcise the males? There are mechuyev and mitzvahs, like a woman. Kiisha. And uh, that, by the way, is the origin of uh, a whole sect in the United States called the Black Hebrews, who are uh, blacks who claim to be Jews. Uh, I always say everybody in the world wants to be Jewish except the Jews. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so they're the, where did they come from? So they all say their tradition is they were slaves to Jewish masters in the South and they were raised as Avodim Knanim. And then they were freed, so then they were made Jews, so then they, they became Jewish. And uh, they have synagogues all over the United States. Uh, there's a group in Chicago uh, that I remember from my youth yet, in New York, in the parts. Uh, I... So therefore, uh, the, the Torah addressed the issue. It didn't endorse the issue, but it addressed it. So we have many times this idea of Lodibra Torah Lekaneged Yetzohara when we study things in the Torah. The Torah, Zev Sefer told us Sodom, that's the book of humankind. So the book is realistic. And the book speaks to our weaknesses. So, for instance, the, the, the Torah uh, has entire parshas about uh, marital discord, <coughs> and divorce, a yeah, whole masechta devoted to it. Does the Torah encourage it? Certainly not. Nevertheless, the reality of life is such that sometimes that's what happens. And sometimes it's better that that happens this way. So therefore the Torah constructs a halachic uh, foundation uh, to govern it so that it doesn't become uh, free-for-all as it is in other societies, for instance. And uh, that applies here to the dinim of Eved as well. Now, Eved Ivri is really a person rents himself out, the Jew rents himself out for seven years, six years. But uh, you were not, all you were not allowed to treat him as an Eved, so to speak. The Gomorian says, uh, famously, Misha Kona Eved Le'atzmo Kona Odom Le'atzmo. He who uh, thinks he has a slave, he really has a master. And any of us that have help in the house know that that's true. Right? After the cleaning lady is done, so I spend the day cleaning up, putting everything away. And no matter how many times you tell her, she's a wonderful woman, she does everything. But that's the way it is. They rule the house. They're the ones that have it. 
so uh, this uh, Evid Ivri uh, was, uh, the Gemara restricted it to two cases. One case is that it was a uh, person that uh, stole, and because he could not pay the compensation, so therefore he sold himself so the compensation would go to pay off what he stole. And so therefore this was like a rehabilitative process. We take the Ganev, we make him an Evid Ivri, and at the end he's supposed to be a responsible person. So the one that buys him has, so to speak, the guardianship over him to raise him and bring him back to normal society. And the second case was that the person is a is a low yitzlach. He can't make a living. He can't do anything. So this way he'll have three meals a day, and he has a roof over his head. So he sells himself. So therefore. Uh, the the, uh, the halacha sees it in very very narrow terms, very extenuating circumstances. It's not something that uh, that should happen often, or should be part of society. Now we find in Tanakh, in the Novi Yirmiyo, especially. That at the end of Bayes Rishon, the Jewish people were a completely slave society. And the slaves mainly were Jews. And so the Novi told them, you know, to release them. It's time, it's the Ovel, the six years is up. And they released them for a day and then they took them back again. And the Novi sees that as uh, one of the main causes of the Churban because they were that morally bankrupt already. And in all of Roman society, slavery was uh, accepted in all the, in the medieval world and uh, absolutely always accepted. So the Torah spoke about it, but the Torah never encouraged it, never pushed it. It never saw it as a way of life. So in our time, we hope that... So, uh, Society has somehow outgrown all of these things, and that uh, we are in a better direction. But the Torah was timeless. The Torah had is not just for us. The Torah was for before, and us, and for what's going to be. And therefore, that's why all of these parshas in the Torah that deal with things that to us uh, are not so to speak, relevant today, because we've outgrown it, we think. And nevertheless, uh, it's obvious that uh, it, it's omnipresent in human society. We know entire societies, uh, North Korea, for instance, exists only on slave labor. China, for years, existed only on, on slave labor. You're talking about millions of people. So therefore, all of this has to be understood uh, when we think we're so superior and that uh, the Torah is not speaking to us, it is speaking to us. The only thing is that we should somehow have learned the lesson so that uh, we realize, Lodibra Torah, Lekeneged Yetzirah, and this is not morally correct, and we should not be involved in it.